Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. Yes, he made big pegs from her finger bones on a triple wind hers had. I was pretty I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up, set us down separate paths. We had become different. Hannah? Okay game, yeah I get it, that one's relevant. H-A-N-N-A-H. It's Pandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. So... They're twins? Like, there's Hannah and... Another woman? And they... I mean, maybe. session and Eve maybe that's uh, her sister's name yes my name is Hannah Smith oh shit sorry <laughs> across the road when my parents first lived there was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. 
amazing what people will admit to on paper. Wow. Okay. So did the midwife keep Eve? Or what did, what did she do with Eve? Uh, her. Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Well, who's the she? Was it the mom? Search for Eve. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. She was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. <laughs> it's interesting that the, the different silhouettes are they're the same silhouette, but like one's got the amp, the um, the police sirens and the lights. Then the other will be more pallid and will have its own weird noise. Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under. And I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. Like that one. So, what I'm gathering is that Eve was brought in, well, clearly they grew up together, despite the fact they'd been separated from birth. So someone took Eve in. But it seems strange because wouldn't they look so similar and that would arise, arise suspicion? I don't know. A police station? Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. Wow, a bitch. My mother called me Eve. Who is your mother, or who raised you as your mother? Was it Florence, the midwife? I'm thinking so with this amount of videos. Florence. 
Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. What else happened? Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. That would be a rather disturbing way to grow up. This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. 